from Television City in Hollywood. Limit, the star of The Forward Look, and the Plymouth Dealers of America, presents Climax. Tonight, starring Dan Duryea, Anne Rutherford, Steve McQueen, Edward France, Gloria Talbot, and now your host for Plymouth, Bill Lundigan. Good evening. Trapped in a crossfire of human emotions, a hospital chief surgeon fights his own conscience to decide the fate of two men. He must weigh the possible sacrifice of one life for another. Drawing on years of experience, he defies the pressures of time and personal fear to face one crucial moment of judgment. Now on Climax, four hours in white. <laughs> Oh, my feet are killing me. Oh. I knew that if I sat down, what... Relax. Did you check 30? Yeah. There's no change. That poor kid. Well, at least his twin brother's going to be all right. Is there any word yet on how Dr. Whitaker's doing? I don't think he's out of the operating room yet. If he loses this one... Glover. I'm sorry. I might as well answer that. He won't give up. <laughs> Evening, Doctor. How are the lower extremities? Operative. Evening, Doctor. Hello, nurse. Oh, really, Doctor? You know the rules. If you won't tell, neither will I. Conduct unbecoming the chief of surgery. I was overwhelmed. Besides, that's the rule that applies to other doctors and nurses. And what makes you an exception, Doctor? Because I'm married to the night supervisor of nurses. Well, I must say you have very good taste. Good evening, Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. Good evening. <laughs> Boy, I sure am looking forward to the day when you and I can temporarily desert the distress for a weekend of sun, oh. and surf, and sand. Well, we didn't make it last weekend, Doctor. Or the weekend before. Besides, aren't you forgetting one little chore? It spoils this weekend. Fool that I am. Dreaming of weekends. Okay, next week. Absolutely next week. Sure. Here, additional tests on Henry Reeves. What's the score? The artificial kidney you ordered from San Francisco should be here any time now. It's tough, isn't it, when there's not much any of us can do but wait? I'll look in on Hank. Yes, Doctor. And there you are. Sorted secrets. We poke here, we poke there. Baffled and stumped by cells and corpuscles, viruses and fungi. You better get down to Dr. Whitaker. Mert just called. Lost a patient, I disappeared for two days. Three. Three. You spread the word, I 
I had pneumonia. It happens to all of us, Jerry. To the best of us. Well, I'm not the best. Obviously. Pull yourself together, Jerry. A lot of eyes and ears in this hospital. I should have been an army cook. I know what you can do. I picked you. I'd admit to bad judgment if I thought you weren't any good, but you're a good doctor, a darn good one. Last two times up to bat, I struck out. That hurts the home team. I accept your sensitivity, but not the defeat. Don't leave this hospital. Dennis, I told you the last Shut time. Shut up. I know what you can do. I know how you feel. I've got that kidney case upstairs, and I still don't know how it'll go, and I may need you. Just remember, when I think you're over your head, I'll boot you out. I won't wait for the directors. You got that? Now stay put and don't leave till I check you out. Hello, Tony. How do you feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. Steady. You go for a motorcycle ride. Now don't try it right away, huh? A ton of it was dumped on your brother. Boy, when I think how that happened, Hank and I skidding on that wet pavement, hitting that embankment. You know, the next thing I knew, I woke up here. Just a laceration of the scalp. You were lucky. I mean, my brother wasn't so lucky. How is he? There's no change. Well, doctor, it's been three days. He's still in shock. His blood pressure is dangerously low. What's going to happen? I don't know. Doctor, all I want to find out is I don't know. Doctor, he's my brother. I, I don't know. I'm sorry, Tony. I know what you want me to say. I wish I could. I wish I could. I get thrown 30 feet in the air and wind up with 16 stitches in my head. You're as sound as a want... shillelagh. Oh, I wish I hadn't uh, seen my girl. I shouldn't have sent her that telegram. Can I make a long-distance phone call? Sure. Who is she? Name's Susan. She goes to a college downstate. I didn't want her to tell her about the accident from someone else. You can make it, but uh, don't worry too much about Hank. We're flying in an artificial kidney from San Francisco. Will that help him? Well, first, Tony, you must understand what an artificial kidney is. It's a machine set up outside the body to function for the kidney. But it's not a substitute. And it's temporary. How oh, temporary? Well, ordinarily, it might work long enough to enable the patient to uh, rally and the damaged kidney to function again. Is that the case with Hank? Well... Doc! Is he? Tony... No, wait a minute. Is my brother dying? One kidney out, the other suspect and still hemorrhaging. His condition is a deteriorating one. <clears throat> Call your girl and then get some rest. in the store. Lover, she's pretty good. Cute, too. No, you and your window shopping. Oh, I get confidential reports on the polka dude in this hospital via the elevator out there. What about Jerry? He took it pretty hard. I got a little tough, I'm afraid. I'll bet you did. You know, sometimes I not only want to dig my toes in the sand, but also my head. We'll make it yet, Dennis. Some weekend soon. Yeah, we're gonna tie up all the loose ends and hide. Far away from a telephone and emergencies. Need a suture, nurse? You suture me fine. Oh, you do need a rest. You know, I figured it out. It's been over three months since we had a weekend together. Three months? Mm -hmm. Next week, Mamma Mia, next week. I'm setting my mind on it right this minute. Sullivan, 7-4, please. Dr. Sullivan, 7-4, please.